So I'm going to explain how to create poly chords, chord symbols in Sibelius. So first thing you need to do is to uh, go under the file menu and go to plugins. If you haven't done this before, this is where you find all the plugins. And here is a list of folders. <clears throat> we go to chord symbol and uh, chord symbols as polychords. Okay, I and then you hit the, you select that, click install. I, I'm not going to do that because I have it installed already. Um, now you go to Sibelius, and what you have to do, you have to create two separate chord symbols. So I'm just going to do a simple um, I'm going to command K for chord, chord symbol. I'm going to have an E. I'm going to create another chord symbol. Uh, it's easy if you actually do this. Um, and I'm just going to have D, so E over D. Okay. Uh, now I select these two chord symbols. Um, you can select uh, E and then you hit hold Command key down and click the other chord symbols. You select those two. You can also select the whole bar. Um, then you go under text. You have to be under text because the plugins are organized. So there's different plugins depending on what tab you're in, which is kind of um, yeah, kind of annoying sometimes. However, under text, you go to plugins, and you find the plugin chord symbols as polychords. You hit that. It comes this dialog box. <clears throat> I haven't looked into this. I just hit OK. And there you go. There is the E over D.